Hi, I'm Dave from the Birchgown Development Team, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about a new way that you can test your bee checks in Birch Street Professional 2023.10.2 and newer. So for anyone who's unfamiliar with bee checks, we release them in Birch Street Professional 2023.6 as a way of adding custom scan checks into Burp Scanning Engine. Uh, adding your own custom logic for application specific vulnerabilities. And at the time, I recorded a YouTube video explaining how you could use a B check to find a SQL injection vulnerability on Portsburg's deliberately vulnerable web application, Gin and Juice Shop. Now, a few days after I recorded that video, I was running another scan of uh, the Gin and Juice Shop for a different reason. And I noticed that I started getting extra issues than the one I was expecting. So I was getting the uh, issue I demonstrated in the video and I was also getting a few others. So um, today I'm going to show you how you can use the uh, B-Check testing tool within Burt Suite Professional to find and debug issues within your B-Checks. So let's hop into Burp. Um, in the extensions tab on the B-Checks we have the same BS code editor that we released with uh, Burt Suite Professional 2023.6 with B-Checks. Only now there is also a new panel on the right hand side that uh, indicates that you can test your B-checks. So if we pick a couple of the requests that uh, showed the false positive issue, we can send those over to the B-check editor and we'll also send over the one with the issue. And we send both of those things into the tester and you can see that those requests have both appeared, one for catalog and one for blog. And once we've got our uh, test cases, we can then run the B-check and it will run the entire B-check against the, all of the requests that you provided and give you a quick overview over what's been reported. So we have the issue in the uh, category parameter, which is the one that I showed in the original video where the issue is present and you see that the responses differ from 200 status code to 500 status code and, and back again. But also we're getting issues where all the way through the response status code is 200 and you can see that in the detail it's saying it changed from 200 to 200 so definitely not um, the issue I was kind of expecting. So let's head over into the BS code editor and it actually turns out that the flaw within this B check was my use of differs from. Now according to the, the documentation differs from actually looks at a number of response attributes not just the status code so even though I told it to use the status code the uh, thing that was checked included all the content length and that any variance in the response actually exhibited an issue instead of just the status code. So in order to fix this B-check, we need to use the is keyword and negate that condition. So we need to say that the status code of the weaponized response and the base response have to be not the same. So once I've made that change, if I now rerun the test, we can see that only one issue has been reported instead of the four we had previously. And the one issue has the status code flipping from 200 to 500 and back again. So that's now only the issue that we were hoping to find and not all of the false positives. Some of the more uh, eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed that the B-Check editor has been given a bit of a facelift. It's now got some syntax highlighting. This is coming uh, really soon in Burp Suite, so keep an eye out for that. Um, but on the side of the B-checks. Uh, hopefully this provides a really uh, intuitive way of finding logical issues with B-checks that you have written yourself. So please feel free to give it a try and let us know if you have any feedback.